It was in late August that we started a fantastic journey. An epic hike through Norway's breathtaking wilderness. We set off to hike for six days through the Jotunheim National Park. And there we crossed a beautiful landscape full of green valleys with rivers running wide between sharp peak mountains. We were surrounded by impressive glaciers and hiked over rough terrain, not only in sunshine, also in rain, hail, coldness and snow. But against all odds, it was still amazing. Sleeping in our tent and just hiking, we enjoyed pure beauty, wilderness and freedom. It was both a fantastic trail and an awesome adventure. And it was part of our story in summer 2020. When we arrived at Jotunheim, or a home of the giants as the Norwegians say, we started our hike at Spitterstuhl and Tourist Hitter in the valley of Vista. From there we hiked southbound and climbed up the rocky terrain of Oderdal. Passing by the high point of Oderdal's Bandit, we pitched up our tent at the beautiful lake of Oderdal's Tion. Oh my god, it was freezing cold that night, but at least we didn't mind cause the beauty of a sunset with its magical light and colors it made up for the cold. The living life like it's all pretend Or the living life like it never ends Well I just can't decide which one is worse And I'd trade the life of luxury For some to sing in a pocket of dreams Well I'd give it all away for this So I'll sing my songs and I'll sing them loud And I'll find my way when it comes around I will live this life like it's too real But hey, I said hey Tell me what's going on But hey, I said hey, hey But hey, I said hey, hey Can anybody tell me what's going on Don't know where I'm going to Don't know what I'm running from Hell, you know I'm having so much fun The next day the terrain stayed rough and rocky first, boulders, stones, some snow and ice, and a lot more boulders. But after a descent to the fantastic blue lake of Halatjona, the landscape was getting more and more green. At the spectacular Halafossen waterfall, we enjoyed the breathtaking view over the beautiful valley of Storadan and the high peaks around us. First we followed the stream of Dora eastwards, but soon we climbed up the northern flank of the mountains to the high plateau of Memorutunga. An incredible landscape and at least the perfect spot to pitch our tent after a full day of hiking. Maybe you're tired of the waves that come and knock you off your feet I'd long to see you on a day when you won't drown The constant dragging and deceit Your hands been tied in there to greet a life that's bounded to a world that keeps on taking every day Tired of the strains, the lonely highs, the constant rains that seep right through you on the days you're coming down. Maybe relying on horizons where the skies they fill with diamonds ain't surprising that the love that you have lost is in your mind. Where we go, we'll take the highs and lows with us while we see forever free from. 
As we left our camp spot early the next day, the weather worsened soon. It began to rain while we were hiking down to Memo Dam, and the descent was steep and the whole track slippery, but we also enjoyed the first views of the famous long stretch Lake Yende. After a good rest at the shores of Lake Yende, the weather was getting better and we decided to hike on. Our aim for today was to hike to the popular Besegen Ridge. It's a breathtaking landscape, which is said to be formed by Thor himself, and for sure, it was another fabulous place to pitch our tent. Ridge with its two lakes is absolutely stunning and as you can imagine it is also known as one of the top 10 hikes in the world. The dark blue waters of the upper lake Beswatna are high above the turquoise waters of Lake Yende. Both lakes are separated just by the narrow Besegen Ridge where the cliff edge drops down from the shores of Lake Beswatna about a few hundred meters down to the shores of Lake Yende. Looking back now, I think that the night at the ridge was the coldest of our trip. So cold that the shell of our tent got frozen. And when we left it early next morning, the whole landscape in the steep climb to Vessel Fjellet Mountain laid in mist. A rough wind was blowing and it began to snow while we were climbing up the ridge line to the top. Fortunately, the clouds and the mist were moving so fast that we could enjoy some views back to that spectacular landscape. Even if we got sunshine in the afternoon, that day was a very cold one. Later, we stopped at the sandy shores of Lake Ruswatnet, and oh my god, what a welcome place! Definitely a good choice for a bath. Felt a little bit like holidays at that small beach. We started early next morning and left Lake Ruswatnet behind us. With the Glitter Tinden, Norway's second highest peak in focus, we hiked further on over rocky terrain and a mountain saddle. Passing by the river of Vio and Glitterheim Hitter in the valley, we reached the foot of Glitter Tinden Mountain. There we stayed overnight in the valley of Steinbjörn, just beneath the ascent to Glitter Tinden. 
at the top of Glittertin at our last day of the trail in beautiful weather. Until the evening, we descended back to Spitterstool and Tourist Hitter, where our journey began six days before. And yeah, it was a tough way back to Spitterstool. Maybe the most challenging day of the whole hike, but absolutely worse to be done. At least there are just two things to say. The first one is, thank you Norway. It was an unforgettable experience. And the second one, Never forget that all of us can achieve our dreams. All we have to do is to step out of our comfort zone and straight into adventure. Every little step is worth to be done. Stop. 